Hello viewers, you're welcome back to the mathematics class for this upcoming charm examination. So in this particular class, we're going to be solving into and we're going to solve this question. This is 2025 charm mathematics mock examination question. This exam they did visiting that like mock exam for this year. So this is one of the questions from this mock examination mathematics. So guys this question is more than as well because in my VIP class, my student from my VIP class, the same they say the question that is almost the same question I treat with them in the VIP class. Just imagine that they have already mastered this question. What just make it different? That is why I will test the student that past question can ask you. Okay. Why journey question? Why journey some plus one to read? You don't just plus one where they are attending some classes. It will help you when you attend a class like this. It will help you because there's some tutor We go a lot of research to make a research of some question that probability comes out. That will help you in any kind of exam. So I made a I made a question. I I gather a lot of question on mathematics like a one fifty question on mathematics in which I've treated with my VIP students. And this question, like it or this question, comes out in that particular question. I pick it from past question. And imagine the question comes out in the this mock examination. Just be imagine that in this coming uh in this coming jam examination, the same question will almost come out. Or likely of it, what just make the question different? Here is the same English, the same question, the same English, but what makes it different is the uh, numbers they write here. The question, the question they give, the question I gave them as a prediction is the area of a square is 144 centimeter, uh, is 244, 288 centimeter square. Why in the mock exam it is given us 144 centimeter square? Is it the same thing? Find the length of the diagonal. It's still the same question. Just imagine that. So it's not only this question alone because I gave them the prediction of 150 question on the mathematics and we have treated it. Many of the first question I can assure that many of my students in this classroom they are doing well because they do attend to the class every single day and we have covered it up. Now they should be ready for the exams. Now, if you are not yet joining our platform, though they will see a space. It is very simple. But if you don't can afford any money to pay, you can also go to this platform. I will recommend this platform for you that can help you. The name of this platform is called iomitech.com.ng. So what you just have to participate in the class. Is to go to the platform I am mistake. Let's go there, register with your email and you set your username and then your password and then you verify your account. Then you participate to any class. If you have any question in mathematics of any kind of question in all the other subjects, you can drop it there. It's just like a social media. You, you can drop it there. So our tutor will reply you, or people like you, like you can reply you with the solution. So guys, let's dive into the solution of this problem and let's see how we can solve a question like this. Okay, let me read the question once again and then we solve it. This is 2025 JAM mock examination mathematics. This is question that comes out. I have also like, uh, I don't have the complete question because I'm still making a shot of it. I have like, a I have like 13 phrases now. Uh, some of the students ask do have a question on the VIP class, but now it is 13. But I decided to pick this one to solve it here on this platform. So if you are new to my platform, do it to subscribe, like, or turn your button in case you are brand like this, they will be the first one to find. And also, if you are watching our Facebook or TikTok or any kind of our platform, social media, don't forget to, uh, to follow us, give a like to this video, and most of all, important and share with your friends so they can benefit from this class. Let's dive into the solution of it. The area of a square is one. Okay, find the length of the diagonal. And here we have the options. Now, let me give you the step by step and I to solve this problem. One is to remember when you're talking about plane shape, we're talking about a square. What is the formula to calculate the area of a square? When you should remember, when you have a square, let me try, try to sketch it. Let me sketch it here. Okay, don't mind my let me my diagram may not be accurate. Okay, it may not be accurate. So let's assume that this is a square. Okay, you know the length of a square, the length here are always equal 
in length square they are so what always equal in length now to get the area of a square you have area of a square sf i mean as i'm represent as af is equal to that's the l square that is the area of a square that's that's length times breadth that is the area of a square that is called the word l times what l that gives us l squared area of a square is equal to l square that is formula to find the word area of a square and just given that the area of a square is going to be as what 144 centimeter square so that means that our area of a square is equal to that's 144 centimeter square that is the data has been given now to find the length now when you put it here, according to the formula we have here, so let me try to rule it out here. We have a, that area of this, area of a square is equal to L over square. Now, when you say the area of a square is given as 144, so that means that we have 144, okay, equal to L over square. And we want to find the value of N, we want to find the value of the length of this square. Now, what we just have to do here is to take the square root of both sides. To cancel this square we have here, you have to take what inverse of of this one, this square here, that is the square root. Now you find what you take the square root of both sides. When you take the square root of this side, you take the square root of this side. So that will be equal to 144, okay? Square root of 144 equal to that is L over square and find the square root of it. So that will take the square root of, of both sides. Now the next thing I have to do here, this square here we cancel the square root here. So it now remains what L is equal to square root of 144, that's equal to 12. So it means that the length of this or the length of this square is equal to 12 meter centimeter. So it means that the length here is 12 centimeter, here is 12 centimeter, here is 12 centimeter, here is 12 centimeter, because the length of a square errors were always equal. But the question says to find the length of the diagonal, length of the diagonal of the square. What does it mean by the diagonal? So what does it mean by the diagonal? A diagonal in the simplest way, a diagonal is a line journey, okay? A line that journey non adjacent vertices of a polygon. So a line that goes for the non vertices or non adjacent vertices of a diagonal, it is called a, of a polygon rather. It is called what? A diagonal. A line like this, it gives us a diagonal. So the question says to find the length of the diagonal of this square. Now, if you look at this one, this is some form of a slope. Okay, you can also say the word is a slope line. Okay, now, how to solve this diagonal? So, once, if it's consider this part we have here, or we consider this part, because a square, they have the same length and breadth, this place length here is equal to this length here, and everything they are equal to, to each other. The length here is equal to the length here, it's called the length here, the length here, they are equal. Now let's say that let's draw this on this uh what we have here is this form of triangle, right? Now it should be equal to that is give us as right diagonal triangle. So it don't make me does not what I does not uh clear enough, but this is just a sketch, okay. Because the length here is equal to the length here, so it means that this length here is equal to the length here because it's from a square. Now, the angle form here is 90 degree. You know that? The angle form here is 90 degree. This will give us a right angle triangle because we're talking about the what a square. The angle we give us here is right angle triangle. Now, since we have the length is equal to 12 meter and the length is equal to 12 meter and the question asks to find the diagonal so we want to find this part here so let's say this part here is equal to s so we want to find this part here the part here has a diagonal let's say it's called what s now how do you apply this you are given these two sides of right angle triangle and this is the word, this is the other side, which is given as S, we want to find the other side there. Now, how do you solve it? If you look at it now, it's not the way I draw it. Okay, it does not make really sense the way I draw it, but that is just a sketch. But you should understand, when you have a right angle triangle, and it's a right angle right triangle, and two sides is given, okay, two sides is given, two length sides is given, and you're trying to find the top side. You should remember Pythagoras theorems. That is ten to solve a vertical triangle. When I give it two sides, I told to find the remaining side of the vertical triangle. You use a 
Pythagoras theorems. Now, what does what can how can you say the Pythagoras theorems? Pythagoras theorem states that the hypotenuse or the largest side of any rectangle triangle, okay, the square of the largest side of any rectangle triangle is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides in mathematically. This is the largest side of the rectangle triangle is because the way I draw it. So that means the square of the is now is called S what R square is equal to sum of the square of other two sides. So sum of this L square plus L plus L was square. That is the Pythagoras theorems. Now our L is given as 12 and the second L is also given as 12. So that means that we have our S square equal to Okay, here we have 12 or 12 square plus we have our 12 or square. Now, 12 square plus 12 square, that here we can say that 12 square because they're almost the same thing, but let's just place it in, uh, let's just solve it one by one. 12 square, that is 144. So therefore, we have our S square is equal to 144, okay, plus, and this 12 square is equal to what? 144. Now, we have 144 and also 144. 144 plus 144, that gives us 288. So let me try to create a space more. So let's say that 288, because this plus the 144 plus 144, that gives us 288. So means that our S square, okay, S square is equal to 288. And then we are trying to find the S, because it's the diagonal length of this square. Now, to get this S, we have to cancel the word this two here, whereby you take the word the square root of what of both sides. So, definitely because what S is equal to square root of what of 288. Now, find the square root of 288. 288 is not a perfect square. If you look at the option we have here, you see that 288 is not there. Okay, we have 13, we have 2. We have 12 with 2 cm, we have 12 and we have 11 with 3 cm. If you look at, we study the question, the option very well, the option has a sort form. So since this uh, 288 is not a perfect square, we can leave it in sort form. Now, let's express this one in a sort form. Let's find the factor of this that a perfect square. The factor of this, if you split this one to do is the same thing I write 2. Okay, let me try to bring the pen out. It's the same thing, 288, 288 is the same thing as say 2 multiplied by 144 because 144 is the perfect square. I get now. So we can express this 288 as 2 times 144. So just for this one, because you have S now is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by, that is 144. Because 228 is equal to 2 times 144, we give us 2, 288 rather. Now, you can split this one into two parts. We have s equal to square root of 2 multiplied by, we have the square root of 144. This is the third, okay? It's another topic. And if you want to learn more about this topic or learn more about the third, you can go to the comment section and say it. you want to learn more about the third. So I will read a question, a video on that third. If you go to the comment section and say it, you need a question, uh, as want to video like this on that third, how we explain more detail about the third. Okay, so let's square root of 2. This is not a power square, okay? But if you have the square root of 144, that's given as well as 12. So therefore, let me try to rule it. We have our S now is equal to, that is a root 2 multiplied by root 144, that's equal to what? 12. 12 times root 2, that's equal to our S now is equal to, that is 12 word root 2. So the answer is equal to 12 root 2 or centimeter. That means that the length of the diagonal is equal to 12 root 2. The option is option B. The option is option B. So that is the solution and that is step by step and how to solve this problem. So this is a question from the Mark 2025 mathematics examination. So this is the question we have solved it. So the next video we will go to treat some more questions on this mug that you can get prepared for this upcoming really jam examination. So guys, don't forget to share this video with a friend so they can benefit from this class. And also, don't forget if you wish to join our platform to learn mathematics daily, you can go visit iomitech.com.ng, register and participate 
the way the students are participating and you as I said in this upcoming examination. Thank you. We shall meet in the next question for this mock examination.